Good day, awesome folks. It's awesome here, bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And today, of course, with it being Monday, uh, it is Mono Monday. Woohoo! I love Mono Mondays. Uh, I am expecting a Dark type team uh, from our opponent here because we're bringing the Mono Psychic this week. And as you know, we come up against Mono Dark a lot, and we get counter teamed a lot. So it just makes sense, really, doesn't it? Or the Mono Bug. Mono Bug. Probably. Probably Mono Bug. Um, be quite ironic if you had a Scizor and wrecked us with it. Or a Heracross. Or a Pinsir. My god, if this is Mono Bug with a big bad Beetle Bug Mega, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be seriously pissed. <laughs> yeah, today, guys, we are battling Dave, aka Shroom Raver. Uh, I'll put his links in the Discrizzle Belizzle. Oh, Discrizzle. That's total copyright infringement from, uh, from X Ray's Ovation there. Sorry, Kevin. Sorry. Anyway, I've kept this guy waiting around for quite a while because I had to restart my uh, 3DS viewer software on the cap cardings. So I'm just going to hit that battle start button right now. Let's see what our opponent's bringing. Quickly, first of all, we are bringing Meta 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 that's right, guys. We got two PU man up. Two PU man up in this. Oh, by the way, I know I look a little bit rough and a little bit disheveled right now, but the reason is because Twerkle wanted to see me with face fuzz because he has a majestic beard, and although I'm a little bit older than he is, uh, I told him that my face looks a bit like a Prit stick and a cat have collided on my chin, uh, which is fairly accurate, actually. If you don't know what a Prit stick is, it's just a glue stick. It's like a glue stick, burp, 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 meow, meow, meow. and then done. The, the face. Uh, yeah, so I don't normally like to let it grow out because I look like a douche. I look like a 14-year-old. But yeah, that's what my chin looks like when I have the face fudge. So yeah, anyway, enough of this. I digress. Let's do this. Battle box. What are you bringing? Come on, show me the mono bug. Show me the mono dark. What's it going to be? It's mono water. Okay, I can live with that. I can 100% live with mono... Wow, I can really live with mono water, actually. I really can. Now, out of those, there's a lot of scary S leads, but I think that Empoleon is probably going to be the lead. That is my first thoughts. But the Greninja could easily be a lead, um, and what with him... Then again, who predicts... I mean, well, Medicham does carry the Thunder Punch, and our opponent may be aware of that. Well, he might not be aware that this one carries Thunder Punch, and that'll hit nearly all of his Pokémon for ridiculous damage. Uh, so, oh, if we open with Metacham though, and he opens with a Greninja, he'll outspeed and do some serious freaking damage with Dark Pulse. But then I suppose we could switch into um, do the Mr. Mime, if he does so. Yeah, do you know what? Metacham lead. No, no, not Metacham lead. Yes, Metacham lead. No, Meta. No, Alakazam lead. Screw it. YOLO. <laughs> I've got to stop saying YOLO. It's so lame. Sorry to everyone out there that says YOLO. Like, I just don't like it. I think it's YOLO lame. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, that was funny. Uh, yeah, so Empoleon's a quite likely lead uh, for those Stealth Rocks. Empoleon with Stealth Rocks and Defog is a thing. Oh, god damn, Electrovolt, if you're watching, I still owe you a Piplup with Defog and Stealth Rocks. I'm really sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I will get it to you, I promise. I, I pink, I, look, put your pinky to the screen right now. Where is it? There we go. I pinky promise. I'll get it to you this week. This week! This is the week. Okay. The melodic, that's unusual. And me without my energy ball. Boom. Okay, this melodic is scary times. It is scary sauce, to be honest with you. It is complete scary sauce. Uh, but what does it want to do? Screens? Screens is a thing. Screens could be a thing. Um, it may want to toxic me. But that's not going to matter to an Alakazam. Do you know what? I'm just going to stay in. And oh wait, was this Hidden Power Ice or Electric? I think I think this Alakazam is Hidden Power Ice. <laughs> Eep. Eepa. Why do I not remember these things? I really need to write down what my HPs are. To be honest, I can't remember what I wanted them to be. Okay, not a lot of safe switches to this guy right here. Not a lot at all, but he could easily switch in Greninja to take a Psychic type attack. Okay, let's just go for a Focus Blast because it'll hit two possible switch ins uh, and see what he wants to go for right here. We should have gone for the Psychic type move. But we've shown that Focus Miss now. Scald! Okay, you're going to try and take a Stunner Sash? That won't take a Stunner Sash. We'll take that. Burn? Doesn't really matter, to be honest. Magic Guard for the win! <laughs> the burn does not matter at all. Not even a Team Wee 
little bit. Can you see me all right, by the way? On the old webcam, it looks really small from here. Hello? 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 Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood today. It's because I'm recording Oh, what? Okay, so you went for the scold. She knew who I could switch in, though. You know who I could switch in. Uh, do you know what? I am going to switch in... Gonna switch in Mr. Mime, because Mr. Mime's uh, capable of dealing with a few of his Pokemon. And on top of that, it won't take much from Scald, because it's specially defensive as hell. Come on, come on, hit me with that Scald. That shouldn't do too much. The only poison type move this thing usually gets access to is Toxic, and that's not too much of a big deal. We can start going for Charge Beams right now. Raise our special defense. Yeah, Charge Beam, coming through, let's do this, let's do this. Hmm. What are you going to do? Is this Melotic just going to sit here and just warm me for days? Is that the point of this thing? Is it just supposed to sit here and be like, Haha, no! A a attacks! What are attacks? What are attacks to a Melotic? Not a lot. But I'm, I am not I am not risking status in this thing, so I'm not going to use any attacks that can status it. Because uh, I'm not about that life. And I'm not... Ooh! Ooh, you saucy devil! What's coming in? Nightwing! Still gonna hit you with a ch- oh. Excuse me? Excuse me? What exactly do you think you're doing avoiding my charge beam? Okay, you're gonna set up rocks. So I'm gonna just charge beam. I'm gonna just charge beam all over your face. I'm gonna outspeed, I'm gonna charge beam. Oh no, the steel type attack is real though. The steel type attack is real, why did I stay in? Flash cannon, of course. Can we take- no, we can't take this. We can't take this. Wow. Why? Why did I... Hi, my name is Suzorsim and this is my first Pokemon battle. No. Why? Oh. Much noob. Very lame. <laughs> God damn it. Son of a bitch. Okay, you're gonna send Shira, Princess of Power, in. <laughs> I've got another Metacham called Burr Punch. If you don't get the reference, then you suck really. It means you've not watched a certain video from a certain PokeTuber who was awesome and they were battling somebody awesome. So you definitely should get that reference. If you don't, I feel sorry for you to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, no ghost type, so Drain Punch for days. I'm just going to Drain Punch. Thunder Punch is super effective, but I'd rather just go for Drain Punch, to be quite honest. Nigel! You're a knockoff, Nigel. You're a knockoff, Nigel. Question. Question, why not go for the safe thunder punches? Why didn't you think that through and go for the safe sun thunder punch? I tear I tell you a thunder punch. Yeah, why not go for the safe thunder punch? The move that would hit his entire team for super effective damage. Um oh this thing could be scarf though. Scarf Pelipper is a thing. Metacherm, how good is your special defense, bro? How good is it? That's what I wanna know. Your special defense is 105. Okay. Okay, that's 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 workable. But same time. Oh, I'm just gonna stay in. Screw it. Screw it. Stay in. Thunder Punch. What is wrong with me? This thing's scarfed, right? It's not scarfed. Oh wow. <laughs> I was so scared right there. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh man. Why did I go for a drain punch in the first place? That was so stupid. What is wrong with me? I I I swear I'm not this bad. I just don't think. You see, when I'm not recording and I just kind of take a bit more time to chill out and think my moves through, I do better. Not all the time. I still get wrecked when I'm not recording sometimes. God damn! <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, I'm really hot because I've just spent like the last three or four hours cleaning my flat because I've been really ill slash busy and the, my girlfriend's been ill and stuff lately. So I've, I've had a lot occupying me, so the flat's kind of got a little bit messy. So I'm going to take a drink because I'm really freaking warm still. Calgon! Calgon! That is hilarious, because we have a rotten wash called Calgon. Just because, uh, no, a rotten wash. We have a Ferrothorn called Calgon because it destroys rotten washes. Wow, wow, wow. So the Will-O-Wisp is a thing. The Will-O-Wisp is a definite thing. Um, Alakazam doesn't care for a Will-O-Wisp. He doesn't care about Will-O-Wisp even. But we have nothing. The Psy Shot could do some nice damage though, nice physical attack. Um, well, it's a special attack, but it, it hits the physical defense. 
Yeah, I'm going to switch uh, Alakazam in, because Alakazam does not give two figs about your burn, bro. Uh, if anything, the burn is good for us, because it means we can't get powered. So let's do this. Hi, Will-O-Wisp! Bye, Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares about your Willow. No, no. Not me. Uh, now, our opponent's probably going to be a clever ducky and switching Greninja right now. That's what I would do. But I can't take that risk. I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock. I made a Focus Miss prediction last time and it didn't play out in my favor. Um, now, unless he's predicting the Psy Shock, he may stay in. Or an Energy Ball. Ah, oh, he's going to... But then he wouldn't want to send in Greninja either. He wouldn't want to send in Greninja either. I mean, isn't isn't Empoleon neutral? I mean, doesn't gr uh, Steel resist Grass? Actually, Empoleon will still get KO'd though. What am I talking about? This should do a hefty chunk. Oh, is it physically defensive Rotom? Probably is, actually. Physically defensive Rotom is a thing. Okay. Greninja's going to come through to finish off Alakazam, right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! That was my Mickey Mouse impression, by the way. Oh, guys! I don't know why, but I've had this sudden urge to try and do some kind of harmonica cover of the original Pokemon theme song. Um, I don't know why, but I really want to learn how to play it on harmonica, but then I want to sing it as well, and I want to do a... I know, I know, I'm stealing the format from Nate Wants to Battle, but I want to have, like, a split screen. One of me singing the, the, the main lyrics, one of, like, the backing lyrics, and one of just me doing harmonica. Because uh, I freaking love the harmonica, and I know I'm not a good singer, I'm not a good musician, but it'd be fun! It'll be really fun, and I really want to do it, and if you guys don't want me to do that, I might still do it anyway, because you don't have to watch it, but let me know if you do think it'd be something you'd enjoy watching. I'll probably be really bad, and I'll probably fail miserably, but we'll have a giggle. We'll have a giggle. That's what's important. Right, so, um, oh, so you're going to go for a Dark Pulse. Uh, may as well focus, miss. Oh, the U-turn? Oh, switch initiative. Well, you won't get switch initiative, actually, because you'll knock me out. Could that Greninja be physical, or is it just a special with U-turn? That's a thing. Special with U-turn is a thing. I don't run it, personally. Although, I run Map Block on a singles Greninja, so... Well, it is a doubles Greninja, mainly. I use that Greninja mainly for doubles. But I do bring him to the old set. Actually, now that I've got that uh, nice and tasty, super awesome special Greninja from PKM and Gravager... I might just uh, keep my original Greninja, Raphael, for good old-fashioned double times. Because I'm going to be bringing Prepare for Trouble back to the channel, guys. That's got to happen. I just don't know when. Hopefully soon. Hopefully really soon. Okay, so Calgon's in. Rouge doesn't want to go in on Calgon. she could do some decent damage, probably. Um, Guyver could take most of its hits really well. See, the only problem is, is that I'm scared of the Willow. Ideally, we need to... And uh, what attacks have you got apart from Bolt Strike and V Create? I can't even remember anymore. Let's get those moves up. We've got U Turn, Zen, Zen Headbutt. That could be nice. You don't have any. No, you do. You've got Greninja. You got the Greninja. Bolt Strike isn't Stab, but it's powerful. Choice Banded and Neutral. V Create is Stab. Resisted. Right, okay, let's do some maths real quick. Let's do some maths real quick. So, base power 180. Uh, so it's 1.5, isn't it, with stab, so that's 270, but resisted, so 135. 135 base power. Just, yeah, okay, so V-Create is actually the best move to go for. V-Create is the best move to go for. Okay. What I'm going to do then... I'm just going to switch in Vendetta. I, I was going to switch in something first that Rotom would want to burn, then try and get a free switch into Vendetta, but Vendetta's going to outspeed anyway. May as well send him in, get a stupidly... Oh, could predict the Greninja switch, though, and go for the U-turn. What do I do, guys? What do I do? Do I try and pro-play, go for the U-turn, try and take that Greninja out? That would be really nice to take that Greninja out, actually. Then I could just wreck shop with some powerful Psychic-type moves. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna U turn, screw it, screw it. Oh, you didn't switch? You didn't switch, bro? Really? Why are you gonna be that guy? <laughs> no, no! I don't know what that no was about. Okay, so Rouge really has to come in. Rouge has to come in right now. 
because she's the only one that doesn't need her physical attacking stat. Hydro Pump! Okay, okay. Of course you wouldn't go for a Willow. Why would you go for a Willow when there's a freaking Victini on the field? That's just crazy source. That is crazy source. Rouge has got some pretty high speed. Do you have speed, Rope? Let's see. Um, let's go for a Roost. Let's go for a Roost. No, 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 no. God damn it. Good game, Rouge. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Oh, dappy, dappy, dap, dap, dap. I've made so many misplays during this battle. What is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, hi. My name is Awesome. That's, that's what's wrong with me. So I've only got physical attackers left. Uh, not really too much of a big deal, actually, I don't think. Uh, let's get with a V-Create. Let's get with a V-Create. I don't think he'll switch Greninja in because he's probably afraid of me going for another U-turn. But then again, after I've seen the damage that U-turn did... No, no, no. Just going to V-Create. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But then Greninja's going to come in and be able to wreck Victini. This is the problem. Both of Greninja's natural stabs, obviously all of its moves are stabs, but both of its natural stabs are super effective to us. It's a fairly decent switch in for resistances off the bat. Uh, our attack and all that jazz have just been dropped by V-Create. So we're in a bad sitch right now. We're in a super bad... Oh, hello. The Aqua Jet's coming. The Aqua Jet is coming, guys. That's going to happen. Giver. Giver's got to come through right now, I think. Got to be the Givemeister. Oh, Shira. Giver. Shira. Giver. Shira. Giver. Shira. Giver can take it, but can he take two? Because this thing could be banded. But we kind of need Vendetta for that V Create choice banded power to tear through things. Wow, wow, wow. Do you know those early misplays are really good? They've, roots, they've costed me so much. They, they've cost me all of my. I was going to say anus. What is wrong with me lately? Uh, they've cost me my anus. No. Um, whatever. <gasps> Guyver! Let's do this. Let's do this, Guyver. I believe in you. Maybe this thing will go for a crunch. But why would it when it can get priority super effective? But crunch has more BP. Mmm. Waterfall. Okay. Okay. Guyver takes that really well. Uh, so he should be able to take an Aqua Jet. Mmm. Gonna go. You see, the thing is, I could go for a close combat, but I need to take out a couple of his Pokemon in a row. That's the problem. I can take out Greninja. I can outspeed and take out Greninja with a minus one close combat, though. All right, let's do this. Close combat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Oh God, so nervous right now. Oh, my God. Okay, so he didn't go for the waterfall. I mean, the Aqua Jet. Not bad. Maybe he was banded. I mean, but that doesn't look like banded damage in a Gallade. Gallade's defense is only like 80 something at level 50. Its special defense is beastly though. It's like 140 special defense uninvested at level 50. I really want to try out a specially defensive uh, Gallade, guys. That'd be nice. Does this thing have Water Shuriken though? If it's physical. If, if this thing is a physical Greninja, I'm boned. To be honest. No! We should be able to take this thing down unless it's Sash. Oh, it's Sash! <laughs> Why are you sashed? Why? I am not your friend anymore. <laughs> That's gold? Can we take this gold? With the epic special defenses? No, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. <laughs> never mind, guys. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so the only choice right now is to send in Shira, Princess of Power. Yeah, and I'm not going to make... Oh, actually, no. Bullet Punch is a thing. I've got a Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch priority... <laughs> Burr Punch! Made a chair means bird punch. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, okay, so are we two for two right now? I think we're two for two. Two for two? Do for do? <laughs> the itcha! Okay. Two for two. Let's go for Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch of Days. This thing has insane power. Uh, this might be especially defensive. Yeah, I think it's especially defensive, Milotic, because um, he had a physically defensive Rotom Wash. I'm almost certain. Almost certain. Oh my god. Nightwing coming through, though. This thing is scary. Uh, but then again, even if it uses Aqua Jet, we'll survive it. This is good game, I think. This could be good game. Just in case there's any kind of crazy chicanery going on right now, I'm going to go for the super effective Drain Punch. On this guy's face. No, and he can't switch any Pelipers in on me this time. 
And can I suck up all your yummy life force? With my fist? What? How does that even work? Have they just got like fangs on their fists? Nom nom nom, give me all of the flesh. Um, well, that's a good game. I can't believe I managed to pull back a win there. No type advantage on my side or his side, you know, with, with stabs anyway, with, with actual Pokemon types. Um, unless you kind of count his, his Greninja's Protean U-turn and things. And of course the Dark Pulse. Well, I suppose his Greninja had, you know, the Dark type, but, but yeah, no, the mono teams didn't counter each other naturally. Which is nice. I'm going to save that just in case this recording goes wrong for whatever reason. Camtasia, looking at you, bro. But yeah, good game, Stream Raver. You're awesome. That was a really great battle. Um, not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty chuffed that I managed to come back from some really, really terrible plays on my part. I made some derptacular plays. Hashtag derptaculouses. Actually, nobody ever hashtags my hashtags. Thanks, guys. Feeling the support. Now, I'm only joking. You awesome folk are possibly the most supportive and most amazing fan base that I have ever, ever had the pleasure to encounter in my entire life. And it's been a long life, guys. I'm quite old. <laughs> but yeah, um, have a fantastic, super duper sizz awesome day. Thanks to Shroom Raver. Uh, go and get him on the old Twitters and ask him for battles. Because this guy, this guy's good, obviously. You saw that. He's a good guy. Good battles. Um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope you've enjoyed Mono Monday. Going to be bringing back PFT soon. Going to be bringing all sorts of other awesomeness to the channel. Uh, Sega Sundays is going to be a thing. Some retro games with PKM and Gravager online, baby. Genesis Emulator online with the net play. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. Uh, have a great day, guys. Um, I hope this has helped to brighten the start of your week. Much love and bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 God.